Five, a man accused of carjacking an EMS vehicle and taking it for a joy ride in Tampa last spring will now spend the next 25 years in state prison. That's the result of a plea deal that Gregory McGall agreed to this afternoon. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer is in the newsroom. Aaron, what led to this plea deal? Well, Haley, had he not agreed to the deal, McGall could have gone to prison for much longer than 25 years. He also may have faced an uphill battle with many of his alleged crimes recorded on video. One crime after another caught on camera. That's Gregory McGall in the driver's seat of a stolen EMS vehicle in March. Move in, move in, move in. Hillsborough detectives say three days later, McGall was in the passenger seat of this car trying to get away from authorities. I need a block Deputies on the passenger blocked the side. car and swarmed in for an arrest. Five months after that, McGall pleaded guilty Thursday to a series of charges that could have landed him in prison for the rest of his life. However, he'll still be locked away for 25 years following the agreement he made with the state. The defendant is observed by an off-duty police officer approaching an AMR ambulance rescue vehicle um, that stopped to provide aid or assistance to the defendant. At that time, the defendant then carjacks the victim of that vehicle, stealing the AMR vehicle and forcing that victim out of the vehicle by threat or force. During the hearing, prosecutors read the accusations against McGall. Investigators say he carjacked that American Medical Response SUV from a supervisor responding to an accident and took it for a joyride. It was found crashed and abandoned hours later. Then came that attempted getaway that was foiled by law enforcement. Court sentences you to a concurrent 25 years full risk prison followed by 10 years of probation. There was also this home security video from February of McGall, according to Florida Highway Patrol, kicking in a door and stealing a car. Although that alleged crime may not have been included in this case, deputies have said McGall needs to be in jail. Especially after the carjacking, we saw how dangerous this individual is and how important it was to get him off the street. And following that incident there back in March, AMR told Fox 13 its top priority is the safety of its patients and teams. The company thanked the Sheriff's Office and Highway Patrol for handling this case the way they did. Haley. All right, Aaron Mesmer reporting tonight. Aaron, thank you.